I was my mother's caregiver uh, from 2013 until 2021 when she passed. My mother had been living alone and still working. She was still employed at the age of 87 when she had a fall at work and was taken to the hospital. The hospital staff determined that she really should not be living alone at 87. She was a little bit disoriented and uh, she had done a lot of damage to her hip and leg in the fall at work. And after checking on her, talking to her friend circle and others decided that she really could no longer live alone. So I packed her up, we drove her car back to my home and um, that's how I became caregiver. The biggest challenge was that my mother didn't think she needed a caregiver. Initially, she was simply healing and needed help to bathe and take care of herself and to get around. Uh, as that process continued, she wanted to return to her former home where she had been living alone, and that simply was not possible. She also did not want to live with her children. Uh, she enjoyed being independent, able to go to church, able to hang out and do the things that she wanted. So there was a bit of a power struggle to get her to accept that she could no longer live alone. I would say first to caregivers is that take a deep breath because it's going to be a bumpy ride. The roles are changing. You're going from a child, a grandchild, a niece, a nephew, uh, into the person who is really now assuming almost a quasi-parental role. You've got to make sure that the person is eating properly based on what the doctor says, taking their medications, and adhering to whatever rehab schedule that's been put before you. And most people don't want to give up their autonomy and their authority, particularly if they're in their 80s or have been doing that for a significant amount of time. I think the thing that I would say to caregivers particularly is that person is still whoever they were to you before, you know, whether that's your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, whoever, and don't discount that. Don't take that away from them. As long as they are able, let them continue to help make decisions for them. Include them in your fun activities. Uh, my mother loved to travel. And so we continued to travel, even as her health deteriorated. She loved to go to church, and so we made it a point to take her to church every Sunday, not just occasionally or for a special holiday. And wherever possible, made her feel like her life was still important to us and important to her and to keep her, her spirits lifted as, as much as possible.